Human civilization has always known conflict, but it wasn't until the 20th century that the scope magnified to such a bloody scale as to engulf the entire world. In the aftermath of a war to end all wars, Adolf Hitler and his Nazi party fanned the flames of a broken and dispirited nation, rebuilding the country from the ashes of the Versailles Treaty into a fascist juggernaut that seemed unstoppable. They pushed all the way to the Atlantic in their blitzkrieg with England their next target. But Winston Churchill and his small island nation won the Battle of Britain, holding out through Hitler's terror bombing for an entire year. They stoked the fires of freedom long enough to stay alive and to save the world. After Pearl Harbor, the United States, with all its military and industrial muscle, entered the war. First Africa, then Italy, and then finally, Fortress Europe itself. You, soldier, are a part of this great crusade. Are you ready to rise above and beyond the call of duty? Papiere, bitte. Your papers, please. Verzeihung, aber Sie haben Ihre Granate vergessen. Excuse me, but you forgot your grenade. Der Amerikaner hat Hundekuchen in der Tasche. The American has dog biscuits in his pocket. Rennt um euer Leben. Er hat eine Panzerfaust. Run for your lives. He has a bazooka. Interactive present Medal of Honor. Prepare for your finest hour. Good morning, Lieutenant. I'm Colonel Hargrove from the Office of Strategic Services. I'll get right to the point. The OSS was formed two years ago by presidential order to serve as the intelligence branch of the United States military. Our mission is anything and everything. Espionage, sabotage, subversion, search and rescue, you name it, we do it. Now, from time to time, we recruit people from outside of the regular ranks, especially if they've got a particular skill we need. Like you, Lieutenant Patterson. What you did last Monday got our attention. I know you consider yourself just another anonymous pilot in the transport corps, but taking out a half a dozen of the Wehrmacht and then sneaking back into friendly territory is quite an impressive feat of soldiering by anyone's measure. I had your records from basic and OCS pulled. Your instructors gave you high marks for weapons and munitions training. You were the top marksman in your class, excellent leadership skills, noted for being especially smart and resourceful. I also had your university transcript pulled. You were just one semester away from getting your aerospace engineering degree before you enlisted. You had earned straight A's from start to finish. In short, Lieutenant, you're just the kind of man we're looking for. But it's completely up to you whether you want to join us or not. Unfortunately, there's not much time to make a decision, so if the answer is yes, you'll be on a plane within the hour heading back to France. If it's no, you'll be ordered to forget we ever had this conversation. So, Lieutenant Patterson, what will it be?
eine deutsche Kugel. Der Kugel nehmen!
This operation is being planned as a success. We cannot afford to fail. With that declaration, the tone for D-Day was set. Allied troops were towed across the channel, seated inside gliders, whose pilots had only one chance for a successful landing. Thousands more traveled to France aboard Higgins boats, amphibious landing craft that were the key to the Allied triumph on D-Day. But the flight for Europe was just beginning, and not everything was going according to plan.